Hi everyone, I'm Tabitha. I am coming to you from my living room where I have my coffee and my notes from Sunday because I've been taking some time to go over Sunday's message again for myself just digging a little bit deeper. It's one of our hopes and goals for you that we would all go beyond Sunday, that we wouldn't just sit and hear a message and walk out the door and not think about it again for the rest of the week, but that we would take some time, make some time to dig a little bit deeper in God's word for ourselves, that we would read those scriptures for ourselves, that we would pray and seek God and meditate to chew on what he's teaching us through that message together. You can talk it over with your spouse, with friends, with your kids, ask each other questions about the message, share your own thoughts and share your key takeaways and use that as an opportunity to for iron to sharpen iron, that we're discipling and challenging each other to grow. Because we don't want to just be hearers of the word, right? We don't want to just hear a message. We don't want to just hear God's word. But we want to dig in and study God's word for ourselves so that his word is growing deep roots in us, transforming us, helping us to become who he wants us to be so that we're also not just hearers, but that we are doers of the word, that we are living by his word. And as I was thinking about the message from Sunday and asking what maybe God is sharing with me. There was one key moment in the story of Gideon. That's what Pastor Josh talked about as we're continuing our Sunday school stories. There was this one key moment in the story of Gideon that really stuck out to me and has since hearing it on Sunday. And that's in Judges chapter six, we're introduced to Gideon. God's people, the nation of Israel, are being oppressed by an outside enemy. That oppression is coming because of their own disobedience. And yet God in his patience and grace is going to deliver them. And he's going to use a guy named Gideon. And so we're introduced to Gideon in Judges chapter 6. And we find Gideon hiding from that enemy. He's threshing wheat in a wine press so that the Midianites don't find him and take the grain and, and steal his hard work and his food source. And in that place of hiding, an angel of the Lord meets Gideon and he calls Gideon a mighty hero. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a feeling that in that moment, hiding, threshing wheat in a wine press, Gideon did not feel very mighty or heroic. I don't feel like Gideon was being very mighty or heroic. We don't know anything about Gideon prior to this moment. So, Potentially, he's never done anything else mighty or heroic. And I started to think that there's a lot of times I don't feel very mighty or heroic. And yet God sees something in me when I can't see it for myself. Over and over with these Sunday school stories, we're reminded that we're not the heroes, that God is the hero. And it's kind of weird that we say God's the hero and here's God calling Gideon a hero. But I think it's not because Gideon was going to do anything extraordinary. Gideon was just an ordinary guy threshing wheat, hiding from the enemy. Gideon was only going to submit and be obedient. And God was going to do the cool, supernatural, miraculous things. God was going to bring victory. God was going to do the work. God was going to be the hero, but he was going to use Gideon. And that's the same for us. We don't feel heroic. We don't feel like we have anything to offer God that's going to make any difference in this world. We don't feel like we can help set people free. We don't feel like we can fight oppression. We don't feel like we can do much of anything. We're just ordinary. We're flawed. We're imperfect. We see our sin and our insecurity and our failure and yet God looks at us and he sees a mighty hero. Why? Because he sees Jesus in us. He sees the potential that we have that if we will look at ourselves through the lens of God's love and God's grace and God's power, what we can do and what we can become. That it's not of our own effort. It's not of our own skill. It's not of our own abilities. It's out of Jesus in us, the Holy Spirit working in us. God sees that and he knows what we can do, what we can accomplish when we partner with him, when we submit to him and we walk in obedience to him. That's the heroic thing. That's the mighty hero. So how do we see ourselves the way that God does? 
how can we accept that? Because it's really hard. We can go, yeah, I know, but because it's hard for us to see ourselves the way that God does, it's hard, still hard for us to feel like God can use us. And I think it's because we need to be reminded of who God is. Because again, he's the hero. And just like he worked through Gideon, he will work in our lives. He will be the hero who empowers us to do what needs to be done in whatever situation we're facing for whatever enemy we're facing. God can use us to bring victory because ultimately he's the one bringing the victory. We just have a role to play. If we will submit, if we will be obedient, then he'll use us. And part of that is reminding ourselves again who he is, that he is good, he is loving, he is faithful, he is powerful, he is victorious. He is all of these things and he lives in us. Christ in me is the hope of glory, not my glory, but his. And so I read this story of Gideon and thinking about Pastor Josh's message, that's what strikes me is I may not feel like the hero, but I don't have to be. I just have to understand that a really good, powerful, gracious God lives in me. And if I will submit and be obedient to what he asks, even when it doesn't make sense, even when it's difficult, even when it's scary, that he will work through me to do some heroic things in the lives of others. And I wonder what you're taking away from the message this past Sunday. Or if you had a question, we'd love for you to share your thoughts, your questions in the comments with us. Let's keep this conversation going here online so that together we can go beyond Sunday.